و تقو فتنت اللہ تصیبن الزین ظلم ان کم خاص And you must fear the infliction that will not involve only the evil doers. If a community is doing something wrong, although you are not committing that mistake yourself, but you are also not forbidding them, then when the punishment of Allah comes, you will also be punished. We have read it in Surah Al-Araf. فَأَنْجَيْنَ الَّذِينَ يَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ السُّورِ Only those were saved from those people who broke the law of Sabbath. Only those who were forbidding them from doing it. Those, you know, who, although they were not committing that sin themselves, they were not forbidding others from doing it. They were also involved because it is abetment. If you are not stopping them, you are with them. You will be included in the punishment. So this is very important. Don't think because I am not doing anything. Well, you will not be spared. Only if you have done your best, whatever you could do to stop people doing it. You had spent all your energy, all your time, whatever was possible for you to change the direction of the events. Then you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may spare you. Otherwise, you will be included in the people when the punishment comes. وَاتَّقُوا فِتْنَةً لَا تُسِيبًا لَلَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا مِنْكُمْ خَاصَةً وَعَلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعِقَابِ And know it thoroughly, fully well, be it known to you, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very severe in punishment. وَاسْكُرُوا إِذْ أَنْتُمْ قَلِيلُ الْمُسْتَدَفُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ And just remember, when you were a few in number, and you were oppressed in the land, now this refers to the muhajireen from Bakka. At Bakka, you were oppressed. Overpowered by the Mushrikeen. Baskaru is antum qalil ul mustadafuna fil ard. Taqafuna ya taqattafakum un nas. And you feared that people will snatch you. Fa'awakum. Allah gave you refuge. Wa'ayyadakum bin asmihi. And he strengthened you with his help. Wa'arazakakum bin al-tayyibat. And he provided you with good things. La'allakum tashkuroon. So that you become grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ayah is 100% applicable to the Muslims of Pakistan. About half a century back, they were fearful of the Hindu domination. What will happen? If the Britishers go, we will be in a minority. We will be at the mercy of the Hindus. They will exploit us. They will, you know, finish our identity. They will just absorb us in their own culture. We will be lost. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, save us from the slavery of the Hindus. Give us Pakistan, a land of our own, where, have the, where we have the authority and, and you know, the decision maker, making in our own hands. And we shall establish your deen. We shall establish deen of Allah. This was the promise that we made. We feared the Hindu majority. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us Pakistan. Miraculously. No doubt. Miraculously. But you know what we have done is just to the contrary. We were not grateful to Allah. We didn't fulfill our promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why a very big installment of Allah's punishment came to us in 1971. And maybe the second one is going to come soon. 25 years had passed. Allah gave us a respite of 25 years. And because we didn't proceed, didn't advance in the way of Allah, towards the deen of Allah, the punishment came. Another 25 years will be completed on the 27th of Ramadan this year. Full 50 years will be completed of the existence of Pakistan. So I am fearing much what will happen. Every one who belongs to Pakistan must read this ayah with this special context in his mind. 
muslims teaching them islam or you are only thinking about their worldly futures and careers spending huge sums for education what education the only education to have a good career to have a better living nothing else coming over all the way from pakistan to america to have some degree so that this degree can be cashed that's all no teaching of deen This is what we are doing. So we are failing in this test. Walamu an namam walukum wauladukum fitna. We have given you wealth. What are you doing it? Luxuries, comforts, to show off your wealth. This is how you are using it. So you have failed in the test. This wealth should have been spent for the deen of Allah, for the cause of Allah, to propagate the message of Allah. to establish the deen of allah so he is failing us if this is the real condition walamu anna ma amwalukum wa auladukum fitna wa anna allah indahu ajrul azim and it is only allah with whom is the great reward what reward will you get from your own sons or daughters you invested yourselves in them what reward can they give you maybe they become arrogant No, no, father. I am not going to listen to you. You belong to the past generation. You have your own standards. Now the world, things have changed. The world is different. So please let me alone. And then you know you'll be rubbing your hands in sorrow. I invested myself wholly and solely in this, in this son of mine. And now, which way is he going? I have no control. So you can't get a reward, but every minute spent for the cause of Allah, every penny for the spent for the cause of Allah, that will be rewarded. Allah has the best reward. Walamu an namam walukum wa uladukum fitna wa an Allah indahu ajrul azim. Barak Allahu li wa lakum fil Quran al-Azim wa nafadi wa yakum bil ayat masdik al-Hakim.